Hey, how's everybody doing here today? Today we're gonna do something a little different. I just had a box of axe heads sent to me from Brad at Firewood at the Furnace. They've been, had a long trip here. Well, not so long, but they've been sitting a lot. It took them 12 days to get here. They sat in Springfield for, I think they sat there for six days. And, uh, and they didn't, they took them five days to leave Maryland. But anyways, 12 days, they finally made it here. So what he sent me is he's going to be doing a giveaway and he wants me to make a couple axes for him. He's going to have a fellowship at the furnace. He did one last year and, uh, I guess he had a good turnout and he's going to be doing some giveaways. So I'm going to try to get some axes done and send them back to him so he can do that. And what else he has in here is are some sentimental axes, and they're my favorite to do, like grandfathers, uncles. I've done a few for other people, and uh, I'm going to open this. It looks like it's been through the mill, this box, so hopefully they're all in here. I think there's supposed to be nine in here. Let's see what, let's see what it looks like, see if they're here. Uh, here we go oh yeah yes sir please return i think we know we anybody that watches brad's channel has probably seen this one this one somebody did for him this is pretty cool let's see what it looks like here in person it looked pretty good on the video See what that one is oh yeah that's pretty cool there it is firewood furnace that is pretty cool all right so i'll put that back in the he wrote little he wrote stuff on each of them so i know what they are so this was one of his grandfathers let's see what this one is See what we got here. Hmm, I think that's a plum. That's a plum, I think. That is a pretty nice axe. So it's in like pretty nice shape. Not all banged up. A little mushrooming. Not too bad though. Put that back in there. This was one of his grandfathers too. Alrighty, this is a nice one. This is a jersey pattern here. Let's see, uh, let's see if we can get it open here. Yep. That's a five pound plum. You don't see many five pound ax heads. That's cool. I think I only have one, one five pound head. That's awesome. I like that one. That's a nice one, Brad. This is the, don't see anything on it. a no name i think he was gonna he was gonna polish some of these down and i've only polished one axe head it is a lot of work to polish an axe head to get a mirror polished and if they're not perfect they don't look that good anyways if you don't get all the marks out of them if you ask me so but i think we can rough that up a little bit and we'll uh we'll put, that shouldn't be a problem we'll get that one let's see what we got here this is another, uh, don't say anything on it, so that's good. This 
this one might be a wood slasher. It's got the, uh, yeah, it's got a true temper. I think this, because it's got the, uh, oh, what, did, what do they call that? Well, that one's not in bad shape either. It mushroomed a little bit, but th these are actually good users anyways. You know, if they're not perfect, you use them. So that's good. That'll be good. Let's see what else we got here. You packaged them up nice. I think they're all here too. That's good because this box, they really had to tape this thing back up. That's another jersey pattern. Let's see what this is. Ooh. Man Axe. Man Edge Tool. Lewiston, PA. That's a pretty nice one too. That's not bad either. All right, that's a beauty. All right, what else we got in here? Let's see. This one's even got bubble wrap on it. Let's see what this one is. This, one, oh, this was his grandfather's too. All righty. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's my neighbors next door just saying hello and congratulations I became a grandfather today for the first time uh, this is the Kelly Works that's a good one I think I have one of these that's beauty that's a good one I used to do these unboxings. I used to buy a lot of axe heads off eBay, but they've gone, they're really high, high price now. So very seldom I get one off eBay anymore, but I've got enough axe heads to last me my lifetime to make axes really, to tell you the truth. I'll give a little walk around someday out in my shop. But my goal is to make my own handles, make a sheath, have them razor sharp and sell them that way. But I just haven't had the time yet, but I plan on doing that someday. So, ooh, this is one that he's, uh, he did do a pretty good job on this one. This one he did polish down pretty good. That is pretty nice. That one is pretty nice. I'm not sure what it says on it. <laughs> but that one is pretty nice they, they're all nice anyways I like them all let's see here what we got here there's one more one more and it doesn't say anything on it so let's see what we got here and this is a double by the looks And this isn't a very old one. Oh, I, I should know because I have one with that stamp on it. I can't think right now what it is. I can't think who makes this. But I actually have one with that stamp on there. But that's a, that's a good double just for a user. Not old, but it's in good shape. Yeah. Well, I think that's good. I think they're all here. Let me uh, put them back in the box. Let's say one. Yeah, there is nine of them here. So that is good. So they all made it. I was a little worried when I see, seen the box all taped up, but hey, I think we're good. So I'll do a future video on these once I get them going. I still have some stuff to do before I work on axes out in the shop, but 
I will be working out in the shop a little bit and I will do some more Van Dusen Axe videos. So, yeah, so that's it for today. So, take care, everyone, and uh, I'll show you the progress on these in a future video. Thank you. Bye.